What's up everyone, it's Sinistry, and today we need to discuss why Stardew Valley can never be replicated. Stardew Valley is such a successful casual farming game that is beloved by so many people even years after its release. I was a little bit triggered by seeing all of the new farming games that are going to be coming out in the Nintendo Direct, and I feel like a lot of different companies are trying really hard to capture the magic of Stardew. Unfortunately, I just don't think it's possible to replicate Stardew in any kind of way, so I want to take a look at all of the things that make Stardew just so special. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like Stardew content or other casual game content, but now let's dive into the reasons why Stardew can never be replicated. First of all, Stardew is very simple and yet very purposeful. Not a lot of things are super complex and everything really has intention behind it. For example, the art, the music, and the gameplay are all fairly simple, but they all serve their own purpose. Purpose. The art and the music both make the game laid back, but also set the tone for different kinds of tasks and different locations, different scenarios, so there is a lot behind the art and the music. As far as gameplay goes, the control scheme is very, very simple. You don't have to think too hard about how to, you know, swing your axe or how to hoe the ground. And as well, the fishing, farming, mining, foraging, and fighting is also very simple. There's nothing really too complex in how to to actually play the game. And the purpose behind this is that it allows you to really focus on the aspects of the game that are much more meaningful. So even though the game is kind of simple in a lot of regards, it is extremely purposeful. But that being said, there's also just the right amount of intricacy in the areas where it really matters. Take the landscapes. They are very vibrant. There's usually a lot of movement in them, even if it's just subtle. There's things like the petals falling in the spring. Every location feels very different, it looks very different, and it has different elements to it. And all of this makes the game feel vibrant, makes it feel alive, and makes it feel like a real place that you could go to. Additionally, the character creation is pretty robust, especially for an indie game. A lot of indie games don't even have character creation, you just have to play with whoever they give you. So the fact that Stardew gives you the option to totally customize your character and then continue to customize throughout the game makes it feel like you are actually a part of the game. Additionally, there is so much to do and there is so much to collect throughout the whole game. You can do your daily tasks around your farm, you can restore the valley, you can go explore Ginger Island, there is so much for you to do. And every objective in the game feels really unique, so whether you're doing a riddle, whether you're doing a puzzle, whether you are collecting a bunch of things to restore the community center, or if you're playing the arcade games in the saloon, which are incredibly difficult. You know, it doesn't really matter. Everything feels very different and it keeps you really engaged because you can work on a bunch of things at once. And despite the fact that there are so many different objectives, you can really play the game however you want, which I think is why it has so much lasting power. You can choose to be objective driven. You can choose to just do something laid back. You don't even need to complete the story aspect of the game. You can just play however you prefer. So that's a huge element that has a lot of intricacy, but there are some other elements that are also really great. The characters are one of the best aspects of Stardew. I have never seen characters in a farming game and honestly in a casual game that have been so complex. Very few people in Stardew Valley are completely good or completely bad. Most people are kind of in the middle somewhere. This is really realistic. In real life, there are very, very, very few people who are truly good the whole way through or truly bad the whole way through. It's kind of crazy to think about, but everybody is a mixture of good and bad, and that's really seen in Stardew. The only exceptions are characters who don't get a lot of screen time, or also your children because they have like no personality. Maybe one day that'll change. But something else that changes a lot is the music and the art as you go through the different seasons and as different events pop up. So while I did mention that the music and the art are both very simplistic, and they are are in their technical capacity, but they are very unique and intricate in that they change up quite often. So I do think that the balance between simplicity and intricacy is really a defining factor of Stardew that makes it very difficult to replicate. And that is thanks to the creator Concerned Ape. He is another defining
defining factor why no other game is going to be like Stardew. I have literally never seen another creator in my entire life who has been so devoted to a single game. First of all, Concerned Ape has completed a vast majority of the work on his own with just some help for I think some technical things that he didn't have the know-how of. And he has actually continued to support this game since launch. He continually patches out bugs, he adds new features. There's just so much love that he gives to this game even today. And you have to keep in mind, he's working on another game called Haunted Chocolatier, which I am going to buy and I am going to make videos on. On, but he still continues to give love to Stardew, even though he's probably working like full time or more than full time on Haunted Chocolatier. Also, even though he would be well within his right to charge for the updates to this game, especially given the amount of content, he's always chosen to give it for free. I think he just genuinely cares about the messages of the game and about the people and he sees the community and he really appreciates what he's been able to build. And the love and devotion that he has given to Stardew is something that you don't see from other game devs, especially from larger companies. Now, beyond Concerned Ape, the community overall that plays Stardew is a huge reason why it still has so much lasting power. The majority of the community is really healthy and really supportive and very positive. There are a couple of bad actors here and there. I mean, it happens with every community. But that being said, a lot of people in the community will actually stand up and defend the positive aspect of this game or defend Concerned Ape. And if you go to specific Stardew communities, you will see that it is generally very uplifting and positive and that people don't really tolerate the kind of negativity you see from other communities. In addition, the amount of love Stardew has is just incredible, especially in the modding community. It's absolutely massive. There are probably thousands of mods out there for Stardew, which is really crazy. It's probably one of the most modded games of all time. I definitely want to make a favorite mods for Stardew video, so if you want to see that, definitely make sure to leave me a comment so I know you have interest. One cool thing about mods and about Concerned Ape is that Concerned Ape will actually tend to give early access to new updates to the mods so that they are able to make changes to their mods and get them up in time for the updates. This kind of partnership you kind of see throughout the Stardew community with people always supporting each other and always helping out when they can. I've really never seen this kind of collaboration in any other kind of community, but especially between a developer and the community itself. And that just kind of leads me to my final point. You know, the heart of Stardew is what makes it so special. Whether it's the actual game itself, all of the characters, the love and the amount of energy that went into making this game, whether it's the fans pouring their love back in, buying multiple copies, actually returning earning copies they bought on sale to buy it at full price, the support that they show to Concerned Ape and the love that he shares back with everybody. It just is a game full of heart and a community that actually feels like a family. And this is the reason why Stardew can never be replicated because other developers don't have this kind of love for the game and for the people that play their games. I mean, individual developers maybe do, but when you look at a corporation, they just don't value this kind of love, respect, and support that Concerned Ape has given to everybody. And if you look at literally any other games community, you will not see the level of support, happiness, positivity, everything as you see in the Stardew community. And most of all, you do not see the lasting power with so many other games. I mean, just look at Animal Crossing New Horizons. It took the world by storm, and yet it has pretty much left everybody's mind. Stardew just has such a devoted fan base. People will continue to love this game, I think, for the rest of their lives. But anyway, that is everything I had to say about why Stardew can never be replicated. Are you a Stardew fan? What do you love about this game? And have you seen any other games come anywhere close to Stardew in terms of the love, the respect, the collaboration? collaboration. I would love to know down in the comments. Again, make sure to like and subscribe if you like Stardew and casual game content. Also, I stream over at twitch.tv slash Sinistry, so if you want to go check that out, I stream a couple times a week and I would love to chat with you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.